Hi everyone, I'm Javi and in this video I will show you how to change the aspect ratio of your cinematics. So if you want a more cinematic look with these black bars on the top and bottom of the screen, or if you want to record a video that looks vertical as if it was shot on a phone, then let me show you how to do it. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so to show you what to do, I'm going to be creating a new cinematic. So I'm going to my cinematics folder. I'm going to go cinematics level sequence and I'm going to create, I don't know, ls underscore cinematics, enter. I'm going to double click and open in sequencer and we're going to be adding a camera and a camera cut. As you can see here, this is the default aspect ratio that we have, which is 16 by nine, which is a standard widescreen screen, right? But if we go here to Cine Camera Actor, to your camera and you go here to the details panel and you check here on these properties you can go here to film back if you have it like this then you can click here to see all the options and you see that you have sensor width and sensor height these are the things that determine the aspect ratio of your cinematic so if you see i can increase the width and you see that your cinematic would look a little bit more wide and you can also decrease this to make it look vertical, for example. So you can twitch this kind of things to achieve the aspect ratio that you want. Here, you see that we have many presets. So for example, we have 16 by nine digital film, which is any regular camera that shoots at 16 by nine. But we also have this one right here, which is cinematic 2.35 which is a bit more what we call cinematic look. It's a shot that's wider and it has the black bars on top and bottom. Let me show you an example of how a cinematic looks in this setting of cinematic 2.35. So here's the cinematic you just watched. It's simple three shots. For each camera that you use for a different shot, you need to change the same setting. So each camera needs to have the same setting. If they have different settings, then the aspect ratio will vary between shots. But if you have the same settings, then all the cinematic will look, it will look the same regarding the aspect ratio. Now, what if you want your cinematics to look like if it was shot on vertical video? then you do the same. You go to your camera actor and you modify the width and you can also modify the height. And you can just play with this, you know, with these values, however you want. Remember, you can also change here the focal length to make it look or adjust your cinematic to look the way you want it to look. I'm going to show you an example of how a vertical cinematic would look like. Now let's take a look at the cinematic. So the cinematic starts with a fade. It has just a single camera that I animated. It has a camera shake blueprint to make it look like if it's like handheld. If you want to learn how to create a camera shake that you can check my tutorial, the link will be in the description. And it has the spooky doll animated as well. In my case, I used these values on the sensor width and height. If you want to copy those, then go ahead, but you can just modify them until they look good to you. Another thing you can do is that you can animate these values. So you can start in a 16 by nine aspect ratio and then change it. To do that, you need to go to your level sequence and here on sensor width and height of the camera that you have selected, you see these little icons. This means you can add a keyframe. So this means that this is a property you can animate on the level sequence. So I'm going to be adding here sensor width and height. And that means it saves this numbers, this properties that we have. So I'm going to go here to two seconds. And now I'm going to change the width, for example. So I can go here to make it wider and it will create automatically a new keyframe. So let's see how it looks. As you can see, it looks like this. 
and then it will change to the other aspect ratio that you want. And that's it. You just learned how to change the aspect ratio of your cinematics. Something that you need to take into account is that when you modify this, the UI elements will also get modified. So if you plan on doing stuff on the game and recording them, remember to disable HUD elements or at least minimize them. And if you plan on using these on your cinematics in game, then you need to look for a way to disable the UI elements or just take into account how the UI elements will look like and if it works for the aspect ratio that you want your cinematic to be in. And that would be it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this kind of content, then a like and subscribe to my channel would be highly appreciated. I will be uploading many more tutorials like this on UEFN. So if you want to check them out, then stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye bye.